Hello everyone, good morning and a very happy Saturday to all of you. This is Conquer the Mic, Voices of the Future being brought to you by Genius Kids. And we're so excited today. You know, every Saturday we're here from 11 to 11.30 and we bring you an international group of speakers. That's right, people from all over the world. Some people are staying awake just for this show and right after the show, they're probably going to go to, go to bed. And I probably Saturday morning with this weather we have in California, I think I will also go back to bed grab a cup of chai and a pakora and go to sleep. But anyway, welcome to the show. It's always happy to be here. And of course, I want to begin the show without any further ado, but without, for those who don't know what the show is about, this is a platform and an opportunity for children of all ages to be able to come on air and present their views on topics. And we kind of give you the topics and you pick one and then you come on and speak about it. It's not a competition, it's a platform and it's an opportunity to give children a voice. We need future leaders, and these are our future leaders here, children that are able to express themselves and able to share their voice and opinions without fear. So let me introduce my team. Of course, first I have with me my favorite RJ over there, Miss Ira. Happy Saturday. Well, happy Saturday to you guys. Nice to be here, fun as always, and I'm looking forward to this session of uh, new and interesting uh, topics. Thank you. And then, of course, we have my partner in crime for today, which is Marufa from Genius Kids Dublin Eclipse. Hi, Miss Marufa. Hi, Miss Renu. Hi, everyone. Happy Saturday. I'm um, really looking forward to today's show with our international uh, participants. Correct. <laughs> Absolutely. And then we have Miss Ranjani, the famous artist. I just envy all her work that she posts on Facebook <laughs> from San Ramon and Dublin campus. Hello, Miss Ranjani. Hello, Miss Reno. Hi, Miss Ira. Hi, Marufa. Hello, kids. I'm Hello. so excited to be on the show every Saturday and looking forward to all your great speeches. All the best to all of you. And I'm going to be co-hosting together with Miss Marufa. And we are excited because not in, a, in addition to having our uh, local contestants, we have contestants today and participants, contestants, whatever you want to call them, speakers from Romania and Nigeria. So let's start the show. And Miss Marufa, over to you. Let's begin. Sure. Thank you, Ms. Renu. Um, hi, everyone. So um, let's go ahead and start with our first participant, uh, Gabriel. Hi, Gabriel. Hello. How are you today? I'm very great. So I'm from Romania. Yeah. What time no. is it in Romania? Now it's nine. Nine, and nine? 7 p.m. 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Wow, wonderful. <laughs> and how old are you, Gabriel? Uh, 10 years old. I have a cute cat. <laughs> you have a cute <laughs> cat? That's nice. Okay. Gabriel, so which to... grade are you in? What class are you in? What grade are you in? Uh, fourth grade. Oh, first fourth grade. grade. Fourth grade. Fourth, fourth grade. grade. Awesome. awesome. All right, Gabriel, so <clears throat> what are we talking about today? Today we are talking about uh, out school classes. That's the topic I chose. Sure. Okay, go ahead, Gabriel. In my opinion, every class should have an outdoor time or subject because other subjects are really good and can improve uh, people's feelings and abilities and much more. So, and even if it's cold or hot, it, if you have the right clothes, you can do it very well and be fine. Yeah, I'm going to say three reasons why we should have one. First, it improves our skills and abilities. Second, it improves our kindness. And third, it makes us breathe fresh air outside. But on the bad side, since the virus outbreak is now, uh, we won't really breathe good fresh air. However, when it will be over, we can 
with some great fresh air and much, much more. This is, those are my words about them. And I hope that most classes and schools will have outdoor schools. Awesome job. Thank you. Very nicely done. Yes. Good job, Gabriel. So do you have, is everybody wearing a mask in Romania right now? Yes. And are you studying from home? Or are you going to school right now in Romania? Or are you doing virtual learning? Yes. However, February 8th this year, we will go to school, uh, the real school, not digitally. Not digitally. Beautifully done. You know, I'm so proud to listen to your words and for you to be able to put and share these amazing ideas and for us to know that you're also going through the same experience as we are over here. Great job. Wonderful. So happy to meet you. Amazing. Thank you, Gabriel. Okay, yes. I'll move on to our next Thank you very much. You're hey, do stay on the show. We just have, you can listen to everybody else. We want you to stay on the show, okay? Okay. Can I just ask a quick question to Gabriel? Yes. What language do you speak over there? Like, what's your first language? Well, the first language I learned was Romanian, but then I played video games on English and I learned too, ma too much English. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like his answer. Oh, okay. <laughs> So maybe if I play video games in Romanian, I'll learn to speak Romanian. <laughs> uh, you know, Gabriel, I grew up in Kenya and my best friend, her name was Ilana. She was from uh, Romania. So that was wonderful. Okay, go Thank ahead. You. Thank you, Ms. Renu. Thank you, Gabriel. So I'll move on to our next participant, Ishan. Hi, Ishan. Hello. How Hello. are you today? I'm doing good. So Ishan, well, how old are you and which grade you're in? Um, I am 10 years old as well, and I'm in fifth grade. Fifth grade. And where are you uh, uh, joining from? Which city? Um, I'm joining from, so I live in Dublin, but I'm joining from Brentwood, California currently. Brentwood, California. Awesome. Okay, Shan. So uh, you want to go ahead and start your presentation? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. Um, outdoor classrooms are important in school. Um, have you ever learned about physical exercise? It's also known as PE, and PE is very important to children, especially when, it, it, especially children, because that's when they get to learn how to do exercise that makes you stronger. And but it's really hard to do when you're inside and you're crammed here and there because of the furni because of furniture, and you really don't just want to sit on a couch and have a Big Mac all the time. PE is usually done in school so that children. Uh, uh, Children cannot just get educated, but also learn how to be strong and fit. And it would be a lot more helpful if children had an outdoor classroom where they could learn how to do physical exercise, not just to have fresh air, but to also do PE and stay strong. And another thing that, um, another um, class that you can do outdoors, which is really helpful for children, and it's really important. It's science and it, learning about nature because nature is really important. And uh, it's really good to learn about nature on a positive note because it would really be beneficial on your science grades, especially when you're going into high school and college. So yeah, it would be really helpful if there is a science class outdoors so you could learn more about nature. Um, that, those are some reasons why I think outdoor classrooms are important in school. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Ishan. Thank you so much. And I totally agree with you. PE is so important. And I hope probably now after this virus, the, when schools do open, they start considering far more outdoor activities. And I think that's the way people are going to go. So wonderful. Thank you so much for your thoughts. Awesome job, Ishan. Thank you so much. Let's move on to our next participant. Hi, Vaidehi. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine. And Vaidi, you want to tell us a little bit more about yourself? Uh, yes, I am uh, Vaidi and I'm 10 years old. I'm in grade 5 and I'm calling in from uh, Lagos, Nigeria. Hey. Welcome. Africa Welcome rules. Back. Yes. <laughs> okay, Vaidi, so you want to go ahead and start your presentations, Vaidi? Yeah. Sure. Um, so just think. 
you are sad annoyed or angry you just go out uh, you walk you feel the breeze how would you feel great right so i think school should have outdoor classes because when you are outdoors you get more free air you get natural sunlight and you are near natural surroundings and this helps to reduce stress you get more energy and you will be feel relaxed you get more creative ideas and you increase concentration level and i think all of these are necessary for a student in asian india all the schools were called uh, gurukuls and all of them were outside in the lap of nature and that's how we know all these great kings and warriors were made also i read somewhere that um, going outside for 20 minutes is the same as uh, having a cup of coffee isn't that fascinating and one more example we all know the story behind newton's law of gravity this idea came to newton when he was outside sitting under a tree and now we will get more newtons <laughs> thank you for listening to my views on the topic uh, school should have outdoor classes thank you very and nice awesome job yes and i think we're going to have a lot of newtons we need more newtons than we need anything else right now <laughs> we need a lot more scientists right now that's what we need this world needs science beautifully said at the end once everybody's spoken we'll come back and have everybody can say something fun uh, at the end of the show okay we want to make sure we finish all our speakers sure thanks by the way thanks miss ranu let's move Thank on you. to our next participant hi shreya hi hi shreya how are you i'm great how are you good tell us a little bit more about yourself i'm um, so i'm 12 years old i'm in 6th grade and yeah and you're from where are you I'm calling from california, california. California. Awesome. Okay, Shia, let's go ahead and get you started. Okay. Classic, basic, and boring school. Why can't we switch it up a bit? Well, I'm here to talk about an amazing possibility: having classes outdoors. Hi, my name is Shia. I'm 12 years old, and I'm here to talk about why schools should consider keeping some of our classes outside. There are many reasons why I think this would be a very smart idea. For one, it would help kids be more attentive and listen more in class. The teacher could say the same point in indoors and kids wouldn't listen, but if they said it outdoors, the kids' attentiveness would be much higher. It would also make learning much more fun and interesting. It would help kids be less stressed over school because of all the fresh air they will be breathing in and all the fresh air they will be getting. Some big benefits of outdoor studying are better health, reduced stress, improved mood, and better teamwork. Many studies have shown that kids who learn in an outdoor environment develop a sense of self, independence, confidence, creativity, and many more amazing things. Instead of having to do our work indoors, where sometimes it could get a bit cramped and stuffy, you could be working outside. Being able to see and be in nature while working will definitely help you work faster and more efficiently. Being outdoors could also help you improve your chain of thought. If you are brainstorming ideas for a school project or trying to come up with ideas for anything else school related, children are also significantly more attentive and engaged with their schoolwork following an outdoor lesson in nature. Scientists have known for a while now that natural outdoor environments can have varieties of beneficial events effects on people. Although many teachers may be reluctant or unwilling to hold lessons outside, they might worry that it could overexcite their children and it may be difficult for them to concentrate on their schoolwork or on their school lesson. Studying outside can help boost their memory as well as their creativity. This is why I think that studying outside would yield much better results than studying inside in a cramped and stuffy environment in conclusion i think that schools should definitely consider keeping some classes outdoors as it yields much better results thank you thank you for that and i totally agree with you uh, shri i think this is the direction we're going to be heading uh, where we need to go out and have outdoor classes so maybe the virus will bring some positive changes to school over to you miss marufa Thank you so much Shreya that was a beautiful presentation. Let's move on to our next participant. Hi Ayat. 
Hi. Nice to see you. How are you, sweetie? I'm good. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about yourself? I am a third grader and I'm calling from Fremont. Fremont, <laughs> California, right? Yes. Okay. I love your new haircut. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Ayat, let's get started. Hello, my name is Ayat Sayed. The topic I'm going to be presenting today is what if, what if outdoor classrooms were available? I'm going to speak against the topic. Means that I think you should not do school outside. My first reason is that if you do the school outside and, and you just sit down and it suddenly rains, <laughs> like what will you do? Two, hygiene. What will you drop your pencil? And then you get the pencil, and then you and then you just touch your face with the hands are already on the floor. And we can't forget about this one. Wear and tear furniture. Outdoor furniture. Outdoor furniture always breaks. It always break because what was so windy it just breaks be, like you just need lots of like you need to pay a lot and that's gonna take a lot of work and my fourth one is that you're gonna need lots of chairs and tables and you gotta need lots of space to do some work like when you do PE, you're not going to have that much space because the classroom is over there. The fifth one is that is a timeout. When you get the timeout, Ms. Renu is going to put you in timeout, but, but inside, she's going to take you out. But if you're outside, the tears not, the tears not, don't know where to take you. These are my ideas. And and I and I hope they're going to listen and that, and I'm really ready to listen to yours. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, Miss Ayat, I like the way you bring Miss Renu in timeout. I've never given you timeout. Even virtually, <laughs> I can't give you timeout. You're so funny. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, but it, it would be very confusing if a teacher says go out, go. You'd have to say go outside for timeout, and you say I'm already outside. So. <laughs> Yeah, but okay, she's the first really person good. to speak against the topic, Ms. Reno. That's really wonderful. Yes, yes. Thank you, Ayat. That was a like really funny and interesting presentation. Uh, <laughs> let's move on to uh, Yusuf. Hello. Hi, Yusuf. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Good. Thank you. Uh, tell us a little bit more about yourself. Yeah, I'm 16 and I'm calling from Fremont, California. And which grade are you in? I'm a sophomore. Sophomore in high school. Okay. Yeah. All right, Yusuf, let's get you started. All right. Good morning. My name is Mohammed Sayed. And my topic for today is if there sh should there be student representatives in a hiring committee in every school? My answer is yes. That's my opinion. Here are my two reasons. Reason number one is that it, schools are for teaching kids life skills for the future. And I think discussing, arguing, and agreeing with one another and communicating is something perfect to teach a child for. I think it's perfect to teach somebody in life how to communicate with one another. And reason number two is that I think, I think I don't really agree with the fact that a group of adults always make a discussion with one another without having any and deciding about what's good for the students without having them speak for themselves like, for example, let's say the hiring committee has already hired a new substitute with policies because they think her policies would work better because it taught them better at their generation. But the teachers and staff members or, or whoever was in the meeting aren't the ones who are in the classroom with the, with the substitute. So I think the ones that are in the classroom witnessing everything should have have a voice, a voice heard about about their opinions on the substitute, and that's and that is why I think that there should be student representatives in a hiring committee. 
Thank you for listening. Good job. Thank you, Yusuf. Absolutely, Mohammed. I totally agree with you. I think students can give some very good input back to the teachers and to the schools. So yes, absolutely. Great. Okay, who do we have next, Ms. Marufa? Um, I'm looking for Lassia. Lassia's right there. Yes. Hi, Lassia. How are you? Hi, I'm doing good. Okay, uh, my name is Lassia. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, I'm 11 years old. I'm going to turn 12 in February. Okay, so let me start. Good morning, everyone. My name is Lassia Mangetti. I think that every school should have child representatives on the hiring committee to hire teachers because students can have a say on which teachers are understanding and which ones are fun and have creative ideas. Imagine, if you will, being a student and your teacher talking in the most complicated words and you having absolutely no idea what your teacher just said. You wouldn't have ended up in the situation if there would have been child representatives on the hiring committee. All it would have taken was one interview to know that that teacher wasn't at all easy to understand. Listening to a teacher can be both really helpful, but also confusing. You can learn a lot of new words, but at the same time, you can just be plainly confused on what you're saying. That's why if a student is in the hiring committee, he or she would have, if that teacher was helpful or just confusing. All students, or mostly all of them, dream of having a teacher that is ongoing, fun, and exciting. But sometimes that doesn't really happen. You have teachers who just keep on talking and talking and talking. All it would have taken one look at that teacher to know that that teacher wasn't as exciting as you wanted him to be. But with kids on that teacher hiring committee, it would not be that easy to tell which teachers are outgoing and which aren't. So now, don't you agree that there should be child representatives on the school hiring committee? If in the hiring committee be able to share their perspective of what they would want to see. And adults are just outdated children. <laughs> Thank you for listening. To okay, good. Great job, Lassie. I like that last line. Adults are outdated children. <laughs> Okay, I think we have a few more minutes, so we need to uh, quickly wrap up with our last uh, participant, Ms. Marufa. Sure, thank you, Mr. Anu. So our, thank you, Lassia, by the way, that was a great presentation. Um, let's move, our, move on to our last participant for the day, uh, Sama. Hi, Sama. Hi. How are I'm you? I'm from California, and I'm good. And which grade are you in, sweetie? I'm in six, sixth grade. Sixth grade, okay. All right, let's get started. magic because they look for it. This quote means that children can see magic through teachers. My name is Sama and I will be talking about if children should be on the hiring committee for hiring teachers. Children should be on the hiring committee because they are the ones who interact and work with the teachers on a daily basis. It will help the kids understand what they are looking for in an ideal teacher. Adults mainly look for the academic point of view, but kids can identify the fun, creative, and patience of the teacher. As my point of view, a teacher should be somewhat of a kid when teaching, so they understand and interact with the kids better. If, te if the teacher comes up with the creative, exciting, and entertaining way of explaining, the students will have a better understanding of the topic. Based on the teacher, the student will enjoy going to school or not. Kids will be confident and more attentive in class when they included their in having this summary. I strongly feel that a child should be in the hiring committee because this gives children opportunities to hire the teacher they are looking for. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, thank you, everybody. It's time actually for us to wrap up, but I would like to really say something in closing really quickly. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for all your participation. Your speeches were great all the way from Gabriel in Romania. Uh, you know, we've had, of course, Ayat, we've had Shreya, Mohammed. Oh, I'm from Nigeria too, Ms. Reno. I'm coming there. And we have Lasia and then, of course, Vaidahi and Sama. And so wonderful job, everybody. Just make sure that next time you're sitting close to the internet because you need that for your, um, your transmission. Sometimes your video freezes. 
And uh, over to you, Ms. Ranjani, a quick closing words for our, our team here. Awesome job, amazing thoughts. And I'm so happy to hear all the speeches and listeners, if you're tuning in and you watch this amazing show with all the beautiful presentations, we are doing this every Saturday at 11 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. And we have great topics every week. So please email at info at geniuskidsonline.com or renudi at gmail.com for your child to participate in this beautiful public speaking platform. Thank you. Absolutely. So Ms. Marufa, really quickly before we wrap up. Thank you so much. I loved all the presentation. It was a great show, Ms. Renu. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank views you so much. And no, no, we've run a little over time, program. but thank you. Kids, of- great job. You'll be getting your certificate shortly and we'll see you in the next show next time. Lots of love. Take care. Over to you, Ms. Hira. Thank, thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you, everyone, for participating. Thank you for parents also for uh, making this possible for all of us. And uh, thank you, everyone, for being here on a Saturday morning and doing this. So we'll yes, see all of you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a nice day, guys. Happy Saturday. Bye-bye. See you Bye. soon. See you Bye. soon. Bye.